Hey there everyone, it's David with the UFO Dave page on Facebook, back at the lake again, looking at all the scratches on the side of this mountain, going from the water all the way up to very high perches up there, and there's various levels up here that you can see again, these nests that have been made up on the higher areas, perches up here, and you can see all the scratches the gouges leading upwards, scratches on the rocks. Look like that's a big scratch on the top of that rock. The moss hasn't grown back as a result. But uh, yeah, all this new scratches here. Look at these chunks taken out of the face of the rock. Pretty large signs, like giant triangles, or as you can see the ones that are, well, I mean, you can see the giant scratches. Look, giant triangle right there. The shape of that. And then the gouge right there. Well, it's not water making that. You can see that pathway that goes at an angle. That was created by something using that over and over and over again for maybe thousands of years, who knows. You know, today I'm just gonna head out since there's nobody on the water right now. Well, a couple of boats I think, but they're way out and a car just arrived, but otherwise it's just me and the monsters. So let's go and see where the wind takes us. Well, there's no wind actually, but just an expression. <laughs> Beautiful day today. It's about five degrees Celsius. A little bit chilly, which is why there's no one here. Anyhow, preserving our battery. Off we go. So from where I am now in the lake, right off the dock, you can clearly see the same area that I just showed you before I got in the boat. Giant gouges. That one right there is a giant triangle. These teepee shapes I've shown you. And you can see a point right at this where the two sides meet. There's always that starting point I showed you with the claw where it first goes in you can see there's a couple right there right there that start that entire thing it gouging into the rock and then taking out that entire section of rock and below it big slices big slices out of the rock face. That's like 10 feet tall. This is exactly what I've been showing you on a smaller scale, but this is ginormous. Same things I've been showing you, little triangles, and some of the rocks I've collected, you can see the very tiny triangles in the videos I've taken. You can see these very tiny little quarter of an inch or less a triangle, a little notch taken out of the rock and these triangles all over the place and slices and everything else. Well, this is that same thing, but on the side of the mountain. I just showed you where it starts in that giant one right there. There's a gouge on the side, and gouge is going up the side of that mountain. Big chunks taken out, big triangles and gouges. Anyhow, I'm gonna pop by the cave, see what that looks like, because the water level seems to be even higher today, and then go towards where that noise is and see what I can see. Like, look, that is a giant slice those curved slices. You can see it. Some big chunks taken out of this rock. You 
can see what the shadows coming across them. Like big triangle shape. Comes to a point. There's a straight edge on that. And look right next to it, you can see. Big gouge taken out of the rocks. Anyway, I've shown the same area since October of 2022. But only now that I'm here at this time of the year, I can see from the water level being higher, just so many different things. And access that's much easier when the water level is higher. Look at the big gouges on the side of the face of that rock. Big semicircle. Anyhow, onward. Right there. Giant boulder with a big notch in the top of it where the claws went in. The claw went in, big one, and took out that entire V shape of that rock and has wrecked the base of it. And look at all that rock that's come off there. And it's fresh, a lot of it is anyhow. And I've shown these triangles on the side here before. And this place over here, this little place you can come right up off the water so smooth and this other one you can see all the way along here all the way along this rock face giant scratches on it look right there that big triangle shape right there pointing right more destruction all the way around it triangles everywhere and all this I've talked about many times before. Yeah, this rock face has been used. This whole area has been used frequently. You can see this area I've shown before. This one's like all red and it's got that reddish color. Yeah. On our way to the cave. Look at those scratches on the side of that. Look at that. Wow, big scratches. Onward. Okay, I don't know if you can see because of the uh, sun, but all the scratches here, this indentation. It's been deliberately created. A little hole, a little hollow to just sit in here. And then slices. That big slice on the rock right there. Straight in. We're gonna bump into the. Uh, oh, that's so fresh. We're gonna bump into it. Hopefully, it'll spin around here. But look at that. That's like so fresh. giving me goosebumps but it's all like all the way down this rock face is this red whatever it is this rock face has all this red I'm shield my eyes here so I'm just kind of floating but coming all the way down the rock face it's just right from the top. So is it some kind of lichen or something? Or a, a mineral in the rock? It seems to be attracted to it, that's for sure. You can see all these, oh, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you can see here, there you go, these giant gouges, scratches in the rock face. And floating in the wrong direction. But yeah, all this red. Literally looks like red blood flowing down the sides of the mountain. But anyway, I don't want to dramatize this any more than it, it already has to be. It already is. Giant creatures with claws that make these marks in the rock faces and these giant 
gouges cut into the rock. The one next to it, those two, both of them were cut into the rock. And this big one right here, right there. From the top left to the bottom right, that is a slice. Something cut through that rock right there. And that's probably four or five feet to the water line from the tip. But this chunk has also been taken out. Sort of a V shape there, a little divot, and then scratched right out. You can even see the scratches in it. And then this one goes right around, sort of a semicircle. And then check this out here. That little hollow there. And the rocks has been, that have been gouged out. Triangle shapes. And that's like an indentation right there. Yeah. Too much sun. No, stop this. You can see the cuts along the side of this rock with the points that come. Like you can see just sharp point. I'm not trying to paddle with one hand, but look at that. Comes to such a sharp point along the other side too, just cut right into the rock and next to it there, scratch a little bit of the rock off and then along here. Sorry for the noise, it's uh, some sort of uh, pulp and paper operation going on or something. But this white Hold on a second. Whatever it is. Look, you can see a little stick. I'll take that. It's going to be a sample I'm taking right there. I don't know what that white is, but it's on the stick. You can see all these jaggedy marks Look at all along the side of that. Scratch all the way along. That's like two feet long. Scratch along the side of this rock. All this red inside here. Whatever it is. And moss. And lichen. Like claw marks, scratch marks, fresh. Since I was last here. Fresh rock exposed. Uh, three I think, cuts right into that rock. Huh. Yeah, that one right up here. Man. These cuts in the rock. Right into the rock. Look at that. Something sliced into the rock. In the triangle. And chunks taken up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause and get this like that. There's a ton of, I don't know what, but uh, I've already gotten some scat, poop, shit samples, whatever you want to call them, from Richmond that are like human. And one looks like it has a human fingernail in it, and the other looks like it has a knit fabric in it, like a scarf or something. Anyhow, I'm going to grab this one right here, which is a little twig. It has whatever this white stuff is on it. Scratches everywhere on this rock. All around on the interior of this rock. Oh my goodness. Something as he's been using this, scratching this. These are fresh scratches, man. Fresh. Anyhow, just around the corner is the, uh, is the cave. I'm going to stop this to get this sample and then... Uh, continue along.
the water level is even higher so I can see right into the cave mouth. Okay, I've collected this sample. I snapped the stick off the twig right there. There it is. But also, I want you to notice this. This moss that's here, okay, here and here, has been, has come down from above. You can see where it's been kind of damaged along here. But it's not attached. Okay. It's, it's moss. Look at the slices in the rock. There's this and triangles, this triangle here. Anyway, this isn't attached. So maybe something brought it up. This one, and that one there. You can see the scattering of the dirt one up here, where it's either been brought up from somewhere, carried in, in something's mouth, or fallen down from above. Some of that. It's got some of the white on it too. Looks like lichen. Anyhow, grab some of that. Look at that. I think that's been dug out recently. You can see how much further back it goes. Like it's creating another cave. Okay, moss collected. Let's go around the corner to the cave. Stand by for more. Look at all these slices. I mean, big, big ones. Look, slices, slices right through the rock. Sideways here. All these shoo, just sliced into the rock. Put my paddle inside that. Look at a V shape right there. Okay, something created that. Pulled backwards from right to left. Bottom right, top left. Just pulled backwards. And dug that right out. I got little slices right here. This is right around where the cave is, so I'm gonna one hand paddle. And again, all this white. All this white. And you can hear the eagles. off of it. Thank goodness that machinery finally stopped. Oh, just as I said that it started up. <laughs> Terrific. Okay. Wow, man. Fresh rock exposed. That rock that I put there has been moved.
that other rock's gone. The rock that was right next to that stick, I threw a tiny rock up there. Up there. I don't see it. At all. Positioning myself here to come back in. Hold on, I'm gonna lose my paddle. Um, I want to show this to you right here. Oh, swinging myself around. Look at this. It's like three claw marks right in the rocks. Oh, paddle going. And a triangle next to it. I mean, if you look closely, you can just see it everywhere. You know, triangles, triangles, gouge marks, scratches, just everywhere. This cave has been used regularly and has been used since the last time I was here. Look at that. Scratches and triangle shapes clawed right through that. And there, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Along here. Anyhow, and then just slices in the rock. Sharp slices in the rock. Shown this before, but all this here has just been taken out. You can see all the chunks that have been taken out, and little tiny. Oh, I have shown this one before too. Where is it? Right there. That's like an inch. Sharp chunk taken out. Okay, I've got my rocks repositioned. The one that fell down, that was down here next to this tiny one is now I'm floating away here get myself back um, I put that tiny little rock there and that rock was right there next to that it looks triangular now it's a flat one and that one was where this little tiny one was, around about there. And now I've just thrown it up a little higher. And you can see underneath this one, maybe that's the rock that I had up there. It's a little bit higher up than where I had it. But the rock is further up, and this rock is here now. I've put it here, but look at this. <laughs> Look at that for claw marks. Look at that. They must have been on a coffee break. Anyhow, pop by the cave and all these slices, triangular shapes. Anyhow, all this redness. Red and white, red and white. sleeps here and what it, whatever it excretes causes this stuff to grow because everywhere I find these nests it's all this red 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 scratches all the way up and then down here all these triangles big chunks taken out scratch marks. I swear to God, this is fresh. Anyhow, I can't see a lot of other changes, obvious changes. You can see it just coming right up out of the water. We're gonna move along to something else and come back some other time. I think that rock can move now, other than being moved by something else. Like, I don't know how it moved before. Something came in here. Anyhow, I was talking and the battery died, so I was talking about when I was last here, but something, something came here since I was last here. No doubt. And there's nothing that can, there's no bears that can get here. No cougars that can get here. 
I can't even get here. If I could get inside there, I would. But nothing comes scaling down here like a bear or a cougar or anything like that. Something comes from the water. I smoothed this down. Look, it's all red. Wherever it's been. Wherever it makes its nest, it's red. The rocks down, down the way here. Same thing. A nest with all this redness all over it. Yeah, these guys with their machinery. You can see how there's an area where it can just come right up out of the water here. And all these scratches along the rocks and this redness all over the rock. saying red everywhere on it but you can even see the back of this there's a big slice giant slice and then red red everywhere all on this rock face and along wherever it's been see the scratches, the draw through. Something started up there and just went <laughs> Yeah. We'll move along. Big slice in the rock over there. Look. This is something that has come up on many a time this whole thing's been dug out but look at that these big gouges three of them that I can see so far but just big gouges taking out all these chunks jagged 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 and slices wow yeah slices right through the rock like a knife through butter look at this These little triangles coming up out of the water, these are tiny in comparison. So these things start very small, they get bigger and bigger. And these little tiny triangles, little teeny tiny ones, less than an inch. They're scampering all over this. And then they get bigger and bigger. Look at this fresh rock exposed right there with triangles everywhere. dotted all the way along this rock face. You can see fresh rock exposed and gouges and scratches directional. And that one right there. Big slice. But it's tiny and there's tons all over here. This is that nest that I've been showing you. There's a tree in the middle of it. But this whole area right here I mean, if anyone goes missing off this lake, it's from these kinds of areas. Anyhow, big scratches in the rock, double scratches side by side, or triple right there. Every time I come out, I see something new. I see another giant gouge in the rock, or a big triangle shape on the side of the mountain. shown before. It came right up out of the water. It came come along the rocks here and go up the hill or sit here in its little oasis with the tree coming out of the center. Yeah, fresh rock exposed here. Fresh, fresh rock exposed. Look at that. Okay, hold on. I gotta get closer to this and see this. Hold on. Look at that. Dang. That's what I was looking at. 
some sort of a moss that's grown where it's been chipped off. So it was freshly exposed and then the moss grew. And the moss takes only a few years to grow. But look at this slices in this rock right here. But up on this little oasis you can see just little chewed rocks, piles of little chewed rocks. And then big ones that it's working on. It just brings up a big rock and just chews its little pile of tiny little rocks. Let's see if I can grab one of them, one or two, a little handful. But yeah, look at this oasis with all these gouges taking out big chunks. Scratches like you wouldn't believe. Anyhow, battery preservation. I'm on the last battery. Oh my goodness. I just want to show you all these slices in the rock. Big ones. A triangle there, a big slice. All these claw marks in the rock. Check this out. here how it's sliced something that's sliced right through the rock you can see next to it and then next to that there's a slice there so if we go back and look at this one of rock and slice through look at that one right there a lot of industry around here but look at this fresh rock that's exposed here okay, and all that light colored rock look at the claw marks right there Fresh rock exposed. And that's that lichen stuff that's up there. I think something brought it up there as a present to itself. Yeah. So he's cutting the tree down now. Look at that. And this is right up out of the water. Okay, so I want to show this to you. This whole area along here, there's scratches going up the cliff side. But this side, you can see this section of rock that's sticking out right here into the water. Okay. On this side of that rock, there's the white lichen, moss, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Tons of it going up this side. There's also scratches everywhere along the, this rock face. Okay. But on the other side of that rock, there's no lichen like this. Yet that's where I found that pile back there on the other side where there isn't any. So how did a clump of that get from this side over here to that side over there. You don't see any over there, do you? Just that white stuff coming down over there. There's just white stuff on the rocks. It's not the lichen. It's a whole different ball of wax. Just white stuff on the rocks. It's like the red stuff. It's a mineral. Look at those triangles. But as far as this white lichen, that's growing here. The only way that it would get to the other side is if something took it over there. 
because it doesn't fall off into the water and get carried and then thrown up onto the shore. We don't have those kinds of tides, currents, waves, whatever. But uh, anyway, something took a clump of this stuff, this white stuff, and took it over to the other side. I'm going to stop on this side, way over there is where that Tony's Point is. I got one of the best examples I've ever gotten of a claw coming through a stone, leaving a triangular mark in it. Just crazy. And I'm going to, instead of going across the lake, because it's the water's quite chilly, so if anything happened, I'd be toast. I'm just going to go across in this short little area here. and uh, it's Back towards where I'd parked. So it's along the shoreline. But past that little shack, over there, is where that little indentation is. Maybe I'll head over towards there along the shoreline. Let's see what's going on now that the water level is higher. It has access to that little indentation, but I don't think any anywhere it could nest. But we'll see. Off we go. You can see as we're getting closer, the water level is super high. Like several feet higher than when we were first here. Big trucks coming down here. It's a lot of industry around here. Um, but it's taken some access away. But given access, I think you can see down here, straight up from the water, slip right up there, and then go up the side. A nice little area to chill up there and go into the woods. But look at this nice big chunk that's been taken out. And you can see the, the, the claw marks that have drawn through from the top and gone all the way down right to the middle there, taking that entire chunk of rock out. And you can see this thing has become now kind of a little, little sitting area. It's not so semicircular anymore, but it has access to coming up on the top marks all along here. Let's come in closer. When it was lower you could see all the claw marks. If it uses this and the water level was really low then look at that. Big claw mark right in the side of that taking all that rock out. And it's now sort of a you know I can come and sit up on this but again here's that white whatever it is. Really easy to just come up off of this now. Look at that. The claw marks right in there. Boom, sorry. And then took that chunk right out. Because it's coming up here. Look. On the wall. Triangles, chunks taken out, triangles, claw marks across. Look at that. Yeah, this now it's become sort of access to be able to get up easily up into the woods. Anyway, onward. We're going to go around the corner. Preserving battery. Cool. I like this all smoothed down. And this white that's left there. Red and white. Red and white. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we can see all the destruction. This is one giant slice in the rock. You can see all the destruction on the underside of that and the slice, a little S-shaped slice here that ends with a giant section of rock being taken out. Something cut right through that and then continued on taking that big section of rock out. This is the below where I walked for the first three parts. Look at that nest right there. And all along here, I'm going to go all along here. 
and see what I can find. It's changed a lot. There's no access to getting these crushed rocks that I've been collecting because the water level is so high. I have to wait until it goes back down. You can see all the destruction on the rocks and the triangles, all the scratches and the triangles and the chunks taken out. Fresh rock removed. Anyhow, I really want to preserve this last battery, so we're going to continue along this way, along the area that I walked. Let's see what I can see. Okay, I wanted to show this nest here real quick. Look at this indentation. And big scratches, big claw marks all on this rock coming up out of the water. I'd walked down from up above before. This is the very end before I went around the bend to that part we just came from. But check this out, like all the white around here. All the rocks that have been damaged by something with big claws. Coming up out of the water and sitting here creating an indentation. Nice flat spot for it to sit. Anyhow, there you have it, another nest. Now that the water level is higher, I mean, it's pretty much an easy access. Look at the ramp that it's got. But easy access to a nest right there. Behind those logs that have been kind of pushed aside, there's a nest up there. Easy access right up off the water. Waterfront property. Now that the water level is higher, that's why I'm seeing more activity, because it can get to these areas. Moves around depending on where the water level is. You can see all the triangular chunks taken out of these rocks. You know, continuing along, he's going to be short clips because I want to save the battery and show you this kind of stuff. But I've walked along here before, collected rocks that are now. Ten feet below me. Anyhow, onward. You can see the indentation right there. Rocks pushed to the side all the way along here. I mean, everywhere you can see little areas where there's a, a nest up in the back. No, oh, tucked in there. Nice little nest. Flattened area with chewed rocks around it. Big scratches on all the rocks nearby. Easy access when the water level is higher. Not as much scratching required. There are just a ton of these little nesting areas. Flattened rocks, chewed rocks, tucked away just underneath the trees. Easy access up from the water. All the way along here. I haven't been showing all of them. There's another one right there. Little areas that have been flattened down. Like this one right here. Behind the log. Just on the other side of that log there. Nice and flattened. And you can see all the rocks that have been damaged from the creatures coming out of the water and also along the rocks here as well like right there all these scratch marks claw marks in the rocks and another nest right there you can see the tree in the center of it too that little bush in the center and it's kind of circular the thing just Curls around it, coils around it. Yeah. We're going to be continuing along here. That bridge, way over there, is where I first started part one on the left side of that bridge right side being the restaurant across the way that I talk about. But uh, heading back from the water again, all of this is just 20 feet higher. 
reckon it was. And there's a higher up nest you can see right underneath there. A little area with a little tuck in. There it is right there. A little V shape underneath. Look at all the scratch marks. And then a couple pieces of wood up there to chew on. You can see coming up out of the water. Scratch marks on the rocks. This one right there. All right. Okay, so I'm under the bridge where I first started this whole adventure. And you can see just so many claw marks on the rocks under this bridge slices in the rock. I'm not going to zoom in. You can pause the frame. Things like that destruction underneath that rock. And on this little rock down here, a little slice. Triangular shape. And all the way up here there's just one rock after another. chunks taken off of them. All the way up. Oh, little nests, like little sort of hollows in the rocks, like that one right there been deliberately created. All these scratches right there, look at that. Triangles, everything I've been showing. But yeah, again, little areas where a ramp has been created. And slices in the rock like that one right there. battery and uh, head back. Let's uh, see what we can find on the way back. Okay, there you have it. Another adventure out on the lake. We were over there and then we went all the way over around the corner over there. So that's it for this adventure and uh, who knows when we'll be back because it's getting pretty chilly now. So take care everyone and for God's sake. Look up.